The story of American women serving their country as nurses has a long history, dating back to 1775 when General Washington asked Congress for a matron to supervise the nurses, bedding, etc. Women have always been included in American military efforts. But it wasn't until 1899 that the Army recognized the need to establish a permanent nurse corps to clarify and officially regulate the status of the women who served. When the United States entered World War I, there were 403 nurses on active duty. By war's end in November of 1918, the U.S. had on hand over 21,000 female nurses serving in the Army Nurse Corps, with roughly half that number, more than 10,000, deployed overseas. Most were dispatched to France, while others served in England and Italy. World War I, therefore, with its backdrop of American sacrifice and heroism, proves to be a defining moment for uniformed women, altering perceptions of their role and status, both abroad and at home. This program tells the story of the Army nurses of World War I as seen through the eyes of two women, Emma Elizabeth Weaver and Elizabeth Lewis. In their own words, through their collected letters and writings, Weaver and Lewis preserve a vivid and vital record of the nurse experience of this era. The 20th century, often called the bloodiest century, saw two key advances in its dawning, better tools for waging war, and better methods for treating the sick and wounded. Weapons of war became easier to mass produce and more effective in their destructive capabilities. At the same time, the field of medicine was yielding new treatments and procedures for saving the lives of the millions who would suffer devastating injuries and illnesses from war. The First World War would be the event that brought both of these amazing accomplishments to American public awareness. Like the young men who entered military service during World War I, the women of the Army Nurse Corps represent a diverse cross-section of early 20th century America. Their reasons for joining the Army Nurse Corps were as varied as their backgrounds. Adventurous spirits viewed service in the Corps as an opportunity to travel to Europe and explore the world. Others, motivated by a spirit of patriotism, embraced the opportunity to serve their country in one of the few vocations available to them, nursing. Regardless of their motivation, these women shared a common calling and were willing to risk their own lives to tend to the soldiers that needed them. America, I love you. You like the sweet heart of mine. From ocean to ocean, for you my devotion. It's touching its boundary line. It's like a flight of it. Emma, 